Welcome back guys, Titus here with another episode of the Final Fantasy 1 Randomizer. Now we stand outside the cavern of the earth, ready to delve into the depths where we left off last time. And in between that, uh, I happen to notice on the world map, there was, yes that's it, uh, if I scroll down to some of these, I can see how many chests and items are left in each area. So Elven Castle, I know I can't get those until I trigger that. I think I need the herb item or the potion that Mortoy is supposed to make uh, to trigger that one because you normally would give that to the prince to wake him up. And that would also be the item check as well. So for areas that we've been to, we can actually see that there are what, where the key item checks are. Uh, nothing in Elfheim proper gotten everything in the marsh cave uh, the Mount Draugr so that would be the check left there for the items that would be the hanging in the TNT explosive dynamite whatever the heck it's called in this one nothing in Melmond and Cavern of the Earth is 24 regular items so there's quite a few items in there I don't know if it counts anything from bosses okay so where to head here let's head north Immediately we get a uh, encounter. Um, let's go see what these guys. So I think the enemies here won't be one shot by thunderers anymore. Okay, so uh, I had an encounter off on the overworld uh, because I had to walk back to this dungeon because I forgot to save, <laughs> and uh, I thought there were auto saves, and apparently there are not, or I have not en enabled them. Uh, so, yes, I encountered some Sabre Tigers, which were not one shot by the Black Mage's Thunderer. So I thought things were beginning to get a bit um, tougher. But uh, just whack the snakes to uh, work. So, the fighter is very tanky. Uh, he actually does not need the um, amulets that the other guys have got because his equipment is actually better. Slightly. It's like one point of extra defense. Alright, monster in a box. What do we get? One Earth Elemental. Alright, you are not to be toyed with. Let's get everyone back up to HP. Um, where's the guff? So all the high tier magics are AoE. Please don't kill. Good. Regardless, you cannot switch the AoE apparently. Just find 121, that's actually not much. So I guess it's got pretty decent defense. Um, Scourge, insta kill. I don't. I doubt Scourge is going to work. Um, on that. Thunder Rock. 21, 69. Nice. Okay. So that's definitely a bit stronger. And 575 gil was not worth it for the strength of that enemy, but uh, we might have gotten super duper lucky with the gil chests. In the Chaos Shrine, honestly. Mummies, uh, lovely. Oh. Dear. So, mage. Okay, so they get one shot by the fighter and one shot. Well, two shot by Black Mage and Thief. That's good to know. And we got another level up. No one getting much strength there, except for the White Mage. Because she does not need uh, extra strength, really. Or he. We don't actually know what uh, they are. Okay, and there's two potential treasures hiding down there. There are a lot of... Uh... Oh, ambush. Ew. A lot of potential treasures in this area. And I forgot to check the map. To see if there were actually were treasures in there and there were, there were dead ends. Alright, let's flee. Oh, enemy wants to flee as well. Well, I'll accept that. So these are the same enemies that are appearing in the Marsh Cave as well. Some of them. Wait. So I can't get around that way. Ogre Chief. Only one of you. And I reckon I can take you pretty easily, especially if I crit. And that gets a level up for our Black Mage. With a bit more agility and a bit more uh, strength. 
for when you're, for whatever reason, not uh, blasting things just with your spells. And more monsters. Are these all going to be trap chests? Oh, another elemental. Okay. Um, let's go with the Thunderga. Nice crit with the White Mage. Ah, that was decent damage. 106, not bad. And dead. Okay. But it was requiring... Ooh, Diamond Helm. That, I believe, is better. That is definitely better than... No, it's... Dark. Oh. Can I not equip that? Okay. I guess the Diamond Helm will be for when I get a class upgrade. And some more gear. And there are indeed two treasures down there. Excellent. I believe having a thief in your party means you are guaranteed to be able to run. But it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to run for, okay, a whole bunch of, of cobras. With larger groups like these, I think it is probably more efficient to just blast them. I feel, I hope. Also hope, I was literally going to say, I hope nothing poisons me in this area. And I get poisoned. Alright, um, I have I'm pretty certain I have no curious persona on you. I still have slightly more, uh, slightly more charges. Wait, are these all trap chests going to be elementals? Okay. Hmm. Will it be more efficient to wander out of the dungeon to get, use a tent to heal up? Oh, a remedy! And a mithril axe. Is that an upgrade to the mithril sword? It is... Yes! That is indeed. Slight upgrade. More monsters. I'm gonna bet another elemental. Yep. Nice damage. Well, it's a white mage hitting it, so it's not going to be much damage. And 139. Okay. Slight upgrade. And a cottage. Well, I guess the cottage is going to be for MP heals. We pretty much have to go past uh, the entranceway anyway. Can I please flee? Hey, insta flee. Lovely. Pretty much have to backtrack all the way to the entrance, so I, you know, might as well use a cottage. Um, I really do wish there was an item uh, sort button there. Uh, items. Okay, so I have some potions, ether, one MP for each magic level. I bought those and I'll keep them in reserve. Um, partially restores. So the cottages and tents restore different levels of MP charge. So I think the sleeping bag only restores like level 1 and 2, so this one hopefully restores up to level uh, 5. Okay, it looks like it has restored some of level 4. And it's restored some a chunk of level 1, so it doesn't restore fully, unfortunately. So as soon as I uh, remember to buy cottages, because that's fully. Uh, that was going to be super nice. And I will just buy a ton of cottages. Alright, snakes are done. And what do we got? So, where is the route? Oh wow, this is really a maze. I'm going to bet that door there has something. And there's a door down far to the south. Okay, so what route do I want to take? I want to go down and then. Ooh, a Minotaur, you're a new. Um... Let's go fire on you. Okay, or would you just immediately get killed by the thief anyway? So we want to go around this way, I believe. This would be absolute hell without the map. Don't I know what the luck factor I assume luck deals with crits in this. So that would make sense. And it might deal with like enemies. Okay, so now I've got treasure there and treasure down there. Cool. Gil. Gil. Monster. 
Oh, a monster encounter. Ooh, he'll get this. Oh, you flee. Okay, I guess I don't fight you. Thank you. I know there are trapped tiles, and that might have been a trapped tile. Because that's a different spawn. Okay, so down there is that one, and we want to go... Yes, so we want to go across one. Oh no, you no, no, I am not fighting you guys. Run. Oh man. It really does go to show you how few enemies were actually in the game. Given that they are reusing. How did I go into it? Yes, I did. Reusing enemies from the previous dungeon in this one. So they're like. Obviously, you reuse color sprites because, like, that's just smart. Um, hello. I guess I do have to fight you. I can't go past you. Another Earth Elemental, I guess. Well, I know how to deal with you. More Thunder Green. Hmm, that thief did not do terribly much damage. Uh, okay, I got no rolls in there, but uh, you will not survive this round. And more levels, more luck, more intellect. Intellect's nice, more damage. Alright, and that's a lovely gill. And clothes, okay, well, the clothes are useless, but I'll take that elixir. And probably never use it because, you know, it's a JRPG and, uh, you save uh, those magics for uh, a rainy day for the final boss and never end up using them. You know, just casually hoard all those items. Unless you've got FF7 and you've got W item, in which case items are just free. With that, love, uh, that uh, nice little glitch oversight. Okay, there you go, nice and easy. The drop rate on enemies must be like insanely low for items because I think I've gotten like three items okay he'll get this is not a trap tile I think guess and you're hopefully not gonna flee from me nice I also want to uh, get all the enemies for the bestiary just might as well go for the uh, achievements as well okay well, what have we got here a room there a room there room up there I reckon oh and uh, a very suspicious room there I guess those doors are going to be to a passageway so what's in here door number one well a new flavor of jelly uh, I'm gonna assume you do not like blizzards you are red looking oh you also don't like physical cool I was worried that they were going to be uh, super duper resistant to physical like green jellies or green slimes or whatever they were called. I forget. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we've got treasure, treasure. I'm mostly checking. Okay, so the northwest one is a dead end. Everything else has treasures. So everything else is going to get looted. I wonder how we're doing for the item collection because there's so many items. Oh, another enemy. Oh, you uh, can. You can stone, and I only have one gold needle. So I will probably be avoiding you a lot. I'm just doing you for the bestiary entry. But stoning is not good. And I'm sure there's a joke to be made there. Okay, there was one down there. Definitely running away from a flock of four of you. Woof, no. I really hope that they cannot petrify on their regular attacks. I will find out, and I immediately find out. Okay, lovely, great. Mm. Please run. Really? Okay, interesting. I wonder if having the petrified enemy um, makes that in unrunnable. Okay. Cool, uh, I guess you cannot attack any stoned person. At least I have stoner. I'd forgotten that I purchased stoner. And I 
so I've got a few charges of stone. I only have one gold needle though. Two gold needles, cool. And item, any item drop. So, at least I have a couple of shots that if the white mage does get uh, stoned. Still gonna... Actually just... Let's go attack. It's probably safer to just deal with these guys and to try and run away and potentially get stoned because I can one shot them, so. Okay. Monsters! Because everything is an earth elemental here. Um, I'm gonna save my MPs. I can deal with it in two rounds. It's not dealing. Terrible damage, so I'm not super scared there. And an elixir. Okay, worth it. Now for the super duper long hike back. So we've done this that side. Those bats just want to get in the way. So now we've got this one here. Overshoot. Mithril shield. I think that's worse. Yeah, that's worse. The flame shields and down. That was the one that had nothing in it. Fast forward these guys. Well, not fast forward. Uh, kill off these ones. They're easy kill. More levels. And south. Alright, that's just going to be the treasure room. Mummies ambushed. Yeah. Please don't poison me. I don't think you can poison me. I hope. You're just going to be annoying. There's four of you, so flee. It's going to take longer to kill off that party. And I don't need the XP. Alright. Monsters. Alright, easy elemental. Man, they get good um, XP as well. Alright, that was some low damage rolls on the attacks there. But it must have only just uh, not died. More gill. Good, I have plenty of gill for when I get a nice shop again. Hmm, suspicious bat. I reckon you're a boss. All things in this void are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. Oh, it's a vampire bat. That explains why there's all these bats in this area. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. You're an undead, and I have Diara. How's that gonna go for you, mate? Okay, so it is on the same uh, tier as Persona, but that's a little annoying. And... Faraga. Okay, you do see some damage. But I doubt that you're going to be much of a problem. 285, nice, okay. Didn't even get the White Mage's turn. Yeah. We're not a problem. Having the fire gun magic definitely uh, <laughs> makes it a bit easy. Right. Oh, we can now speak Lufinian um, from opening a chest. That's not currently useful because I don't think I can access Lufinia. Now, do I need um, something to access this oh, preemptive? I like that uh, wolf just floating casually in the air in the back there. Just, it looks like uh, he's floating over the crevasse there in the background. Okay. Sab, evil force seems to emanate from within. Okay. Ah, oh, do I need an item to interact with that properly? Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Well, it's going to be an awful long blimmin' hike all the way back to the entrance. So, I am going to see you back at the entrance, right? Alright, we've... Successfully made our way out of the Sodden Cave, uh, the Earth Cave. Very, a little bit of a long dungeon, but I think it must be a large dungeon and I need a key item to move that slab because there's another eight treasure chests in there and 
I'm pretty sure I got every single one that I could get at. Which is a little annoying because it means that at some point I'll have to go all the way back into that dungeon. So we've gone to the next place that I can go to realistically. Uh, this cave, which is the Giant's Cave. Giant's Cave. And I can go through here. Normally, oh, okay, still got full of enemies. Uh, normally you do need the, I believe, ruby for this dude to eat. Because he likes, he's hungry and he likes uh, star rubies. Uh, so otherwise this would be locked off. So you need star ruby to get to past him. We feed him the star ruby. Nom nom nom. Nothing tastier than rubies. And he's just off on his merry way. Slowly. And I guess into the wall. Hello. So that is that area. And there looks like there might be a treasure there. There's an also an exit out here. So what's in the room here? A bunch of treasures. With trap tiles. And bush by the wolves. Lovely. Wolvesy, you are uh, going to regret that. Also, it'd be nice if the enemy flees um, actually triggered a bit more. Because, you know, I don't want to fight you. You guys can flee. Just numbing me for one damage apiece. Lock with the shield, and you're done. What do we get? Gil. Mithril gloves. An antidote? Okay, I'll take that. Ooh, saber. No, that's an item, not a spell. Uh, which I'm pretty sure you already have. Yep, yeah, already got one of those. Uh, and I got... Which one for that item did I get? Mithril gloves. Well, even more defense. So I think this area only had four chests in it, and that was those four. Ugh, ambushed by the trenches. Don't poison me! And waste that antidote that I got. Yeah, let's flee. Run away! Hopefully run away, yes. Up here, that will bring us to the overworld, which means there should be something else in here. Oh, zombies! Uh, I can if you get rid of you with deer. That's probably the most effective. That should get rid of the last of the ghouls. Yes. Okay. Ooh, level ups, nice. So we've got one little cave here. Let's see what's in here. Sage's cave. You know what? I'm gonna go out and save. Just to be sure. I, uh, yeah, and uh, I can actually check how many treasures are in here. Sage's cave. Okay, one key item, no treasures. That kind of indicates there shouldn't be enemies floating around in this area. We sincerely hope. Oh, there's a bunch of pots. Okay. I guess they're decorative. Uh, no, nothing hidden in the pots there. And we have the sage. Okay, do I need a key item for you? Sada, so you're the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? Ah, so I did have to be defeat the vampire. He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cave. Here, take the staff and use it behind the vampire's chamber. Okay, we have the earth crystal. I don't think that's staff. Restores the crystals to grace. Okay. So we still need the rod to actually beat the vampire, well, progress further into the vampire's cave. And at the end of that, there's the Lich. So, I wonder... 
if there are any ship docks on the northern section that I can uh, access, I will check where I can go because I don't think um, key items. I think I actually do need the rod to lift the slab or activate the slab. So that'll be the end of this episode. I will look into where I can go to next uh, and we'll go from there. Until next time, let's type this out. Have a good day guys. Bye.